Pause for a moment, Mama, because this one guideline might be the reason your supply feels inconsistent. It's called the 240-minute roll, and most pumpers don't even know they're breaking it every night. Hi, moms. I'm Dr. Anaya, and today I'm explaining this rule in simple, practical, science-fact language so you can protect your milk supply without stressing yourself out. The 240-minute rule means try not to let more than four hours pass without breast stimulation, whether that's pumping, breastfeeding, or even quick hand expression. It's not a strict law, but it's rooted in how your hormones and breast physiology actually work. Here's why four hours matters. First, your prolactin levels, the hormone that drives milk production, peak at night and fall if the breast stays unstimulated. Once you cross the three to four hour window, that drop becomes noticeable and affects the next pump. Second, there's a natural protein inside your breast called FIL, feedback inhibitor of lactation. Its job is to slow production when milk sits in the breast too long. Around the four hour mark, FIL builds up enough to signal your body to make less milk. Third, the alveoli, your milk-making cells, start feeling internal pressure when the breast remains full. That pressure sends a message to your body, we don't need this much milk, so production decreases. Who benefits the most from this rule? Moms in the first eight to 12 weeks, exclusive pumpers, moms with low supply, NICU moms, and anyone trying to rebuild supply after skipped sessions. Early supply is very sensitive to long gaps. Now, does this mean you can't sleep? Not at all. This rule is a guideline, not torture. A long six to eight hour overnight stretch can drop supply for many women early on, but you can work around it with smart timing. Pump right before bed, Do one light, half-awake dream pump, or aim for a single overnight pump around 2 to 3 a.m. when prolactin naturally peaks and you get more milk with less effort. Research consistently shows that evenly spaced stimulation protects supply, especially at night when hormone levels are in your favor. My clinical takeaway? If your goal is steady, healthy supply, especially in the early months, Try to avoid going past the 240-minute window. Think rhythm, not perfection. A small adjustment in timing can keep your hormones happy and your milk flow strong. And remember, this isn't about pressure. It's about understanding your body's natural biology and using it to your advantage.